Hey Blenderbob here, so I've listened to your feedback about the Overscan add-on and I have made some changes. The Overscan what? Yeah, I published a few days ago an Overscan add-on. Uh, the link is right there somewhere, jo go check it out. Two major changes, so here we go. The first change is to place where the add-on lives instead of being in the end panel here. There's already a lot of stuff there. I put it into the output properties instead. I would have loved to place it between format and frame range, but I just couldn't find the way to place it right there. So it's at the bottom instead. If you download the add-on and turns out it's at the right place, that's because somebody else did the change for me. Well, thank you to whoever you are. The rest of the add-on is exactly the same as it was before, so you can change per percentage, or you can add extra pixels, or you can decide the X resolution. That's the same thing. But when you press the apply button, that's where you see the change. Here you see there's a little line that shows you where the original cropping was. And I do this by turning on the safe area and I change the action safe margin. If you use this, well, I'm sorry, I'm overriding it because I need it. What, what, what? You're not happy because I'm using this? Ah, uh, well, just use the old version of the add-on so it won't mess with your safe area. And this version of the add-on is called Blenderbob Overscan Plus. Lot, lot, lot. Both versions are available. Link is in the description. And just like the other one, it's free. Thank you, Real Fake, for letting me releasing it to the community. All right, bye-bye.